morning guys welcome back to my second london vlog today we are going to din typhoon and also check out soho honey and vinegar short came really fast it's very cold. And of course, if you go to Din Tefong, you have to order the pork Shaolong Bao. Pork Shaolong Bao. The Shaolong Bao was alright, but I was disappointed. I always like the shumai of Den Typhoon. They always present it so beautiful and they have just pork in the middle and then the shrimp on top and there's also some juice in it. And here you see me struggling because it's so huge. But then I realized that it was super hot. I bite into it, the hot juice came out. I was just suffering. So unfortunately Den Typhoon wasn't that great. It was missing a lot of flavor, like a lot. And actually, to be honest, the Din Tai Fung from Dubai was better, way better. Way better. But still, Hong Kong is the best. But now, after shopping for a little while, we are going to Chinatown to try some delicious food there. Yeah, a little bit dry. Next, we went to Boonsik, which is a Korean place that sells Korean corn dogs, which I really wanted to try. I've never tried it, and they make it fresh. I just stood in a very long line at Boonsik, and I got the mozzarella potato corn dog, and they put sugar on it. I got ketchup and mustard. Let's see if there's a cheese. Mm. It's very good. The sugar on top might sound a bit weird, but I really like it. They find it a little bit too sweet, but I really like it. <laughs> and we also got the original corn dog with budak sauce. That's like a very spicy mayo. Let's no try. Sugar. No sugar. What meat is in it? Just an original pork although Very good. I really like the crispy crust and it's also very warm. But I think I like the cheese one better. It's very good. Very good. It's worth standing in the line. Very good. That's so spicy. <laughs> Geen reactie. Het was spicy, wel lekker. Het is lichter Next we went to Mama San's Dirty Ice Cream which is specialized in Ube. I got this. <laughs> oh, lucky I. Ontslagen deze intern. I got this Filipino milk bun with Ube ice cream from Mama San's Dirty Ice Cream. <laughs> And I heard it's very good. It was quite busy, so I'm very curious. The milk bun is still warm. Mm. It tasted a bit like taro. That's quite nice. It looks like taro. I thought it was taro. The ube ice cream is very special. I like it. Good. Next, I wanted to try some matcha ice cream at Tsuyiri, which is right next to Mama San's dirty ice cream. Mm. After eating two ice creams, I'm so cold. So cold. 
Mochi donuts. Mochi donuts. Mochi Monday. Mochi donuts. <laughs> For dinner, we are going to Ave Mario. That's an Italian place. When you order a mojito, you get them in a booby cup that I blurred out just in case. And here you see that we got a table right next to the open kitchen. So we ordered burrata, a truffle pizza, also ragu, bologna, ragu pasta and truffle pasta and also carbonara ravioli. The pizza was freshly made, we saw them knead the dough and put it in the oven and that kind of stuff and it was very good. <laughs> the pasta was freshly made, the ragu pasta was a little bit salty but the carbonara ravioli was oh my god. I never ordered ravioli but this one was very good. But the star of this night was the truffle pasta. This pasta, it was so freshly made and the truffle taste and the creaminess, it was just perfect. So we just finished eating at Ave Mario and it was very delicious. Especially the truffle pasta was very good. And the ravioli was also very good. And also the cocktails. And now we are going to stroll around. We are going to look for the Big Ben and the London Eye. And now we are entering a food market. We walked to the London Eye and actually went straight back after seeing it. Hi guys, we are going to try some Indian food and also a barbecue place. So they only had a breakfast menu at the Indian place and didn't have butter chicken and tikka masala and that kind of stuff. So we decided to not eat there and then just walk around Chinatown to see if there's something else to eat. Almost all the places at Chinatown are also still closed. It's now 10.30 and they open at 12 p.m. So now we are going to our barbecue place that will be opening at 12. So for the barbecue place we had to take the subway to go outside the center of London. We saw a Mexican food stall and of course we had to check it out. And the man was kind enough to give us a sample. Thank you. While walking we saw this Crosstown donut place that I saw on YouTube on Always Hungry's channel, so I wanted to check that out. I just bought a donut from Crosstown Donuts and I chose the peanut butter with blackcurrant jam. Let's try, first bite. I really like the peanut butter taste, but the donut is a little bit hard, it's not that soft. Mm, I see, I see. It's a little bit dense, you can see here, it's very dense. It's like bread. Yeah. Yeah, it, this tastes a little bit like bread. Bread ahead on it is the best.
Cheers. This is the crispy ox cheek. Yeah, better like a bitter one. And with links, it's not a gas. The meat is very soft. It falls apart in your mouth. Also very savory. Definitely not missing any flavor. So we have the pork belly rib, the beef rib, and the brisket. This one is 30 aged. 30, 30 day dry aged. 30 day dry aged. Beef rib. Okay. He's not a yes. The beef brisket. Wow. Some sauce. Beef rib. Fries with fries. Uh, skin, skin on. Skin on. Skin on. <laughs> <laughs> with aioli sauce. <laughs> Beef rib. Pork rib. Also very good. And the beef brisket is the best. These are the gochujang chicken wings. It's crispy. It's very sweet and tangy, but not that spicy. I don't really taste the gochujang. It's more like a sweet and sour tangy sauce. This is more like a fried chicken wing, but I do not have the feeling that this is barbecue. It's very tender. So the barbecue was very delicious, it was the best barbecue meat we've ever tasted. So I would definitely recommend you to go to Smoke Deck if you want some barbecue meat. I hope you enjoyed my London vlog. If you did, please don't forget to comment down below. I really appreciate every comment and like this video. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel to see more videos. And I'll see you in my next one. No, you couldn't stand tall. Why didn't you, why didn't you call?